What's up guys, this is James the First, and welcome back to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. Last time we got the few remaining postals we could get at the moment, putting us at 29. One more more will be half done with that. It came a long way. And we continue the story a bit. Going to Arun or Arun or... Actually, what is his name? Do we have the letter? We should have a... Oh, uh, no, it's in our items. Alright, that's a... Uh... It doesn't actually show the name, but it's alright. We're gonna give it to this guy over here who is indebted to Arun. Because, like, Arun saved his life or whatever like that. And so he'll help us go to Gerudo Desert, our next target. So let's talk to him, show him the letter. Hmm, from old Aru, huh? Ah, well, I guess I gotta do what that old coot says. Always is flight, right? So here you go, one of our secret options not available to the general public. This time, I'll pay for. So what do you say, wanna go? Yes, we do. Alrighty then. But remember, next time you gotta pay. Sweet sailing, buddy of mine. One for Oasis, fire in the hole. Wait, Link. Before we go on, there's something I want you to hear. Do you remember what the spirit said about the few shadows? What do you think happened to the magic wielders who tried to rule the sacred realm? They were banished. They were chased across the sacred lands of Hyrule and driven into another realm by the goddesses. It was another world entirely. The antithesis of Hyrule, where the sun shines bright. It denizens became the shadows that could not mingle with the light. Eventually, most came to call it the Twilight Realm, and from it, none could return to the world of light. They were forever doomed to live in a twilight, fitting in the half-light of dusk, mere shadows of Hyrule. This is the history of the twilight, as it is passed down by our, from our ancestors. Do you now understand what I am? I am a descendant of the tribe that was banished into the twilight realm. It was a peaceful place until Zan took control of the Twilight Realm and transferred all of the Twilight into Shadow Beast. It's clear to me now he has somehow gained the great evil power previously unknown to our tribe. In any case, I will sit from there, and can no longer get into the Twilight Realm without his power. But, there's another tale told by my people. Though the goddesses forbade us to return to the world of light, they left one link between the light and the darkness. Something called the Mirror of Twilight was passed to the protectors of Hyrule. It's our only path to the Twilight Realm, and we must get there. You'll come with me, won't you? Oh. 
I don't care what they say, Minna. You're our friend. You want to help us? So, I won't think of any different. Whether you were descendant or not. Anyways, welcome to Gerudo Desert, the next main area of this game. Just to show you how big this place is. Yeah, look how big it is. It takes up... Yeah, that part of it. And... Is that golden? Oh, the golden wolf's over there. Alright. Yeah, this is was this was the area where the golden wolf was. Um, like I said, um, towards the beginning of the project, the map is uh mirrored in the Wii version. This is like the GameCube version, so everything like the Desert Providence or Gerudo Desert, whatever you want to call it, will be over here, and like Elden Province would be over here. Yeah, that's just wanted to bring that up one more time in case y'all forgot. And oh, dang, I forgot about those things. Uh, those are sand, sea, sand, whatever you want to call them. These things, I know their name. They are P-hats. The things aren't flying. They're not actually that bad of an... They don't actually hurt you, so don't worry about them. But, like with any new area, we have new golden bugs around here somewhere. I hope I can get them before they fly away. I know there are some around here somewhere. And that looks very familiar. Yeah, this is a lot of barren land. Uh, actually, for quite how big the area is, I I don't think there's really a lot to do in here. There are a couple noteworthy things better than that. I think it's alright. Is there any... It actually looks really creepy in the dark. Yeah, that's how it is with most desert areas. I can't think of a game where it has a desert area in it. And, um... Sorry about that. And, um, there's a lot to do in it. I may be wrong about that. Um, there is one of the yeast games that, from what I read, it's like a giant desert. So, I'm actually sad about that since it's getting... Uh, an HD remake for PS4. I love East. I mean, I only played East 8 or... Was it 8 or 9? I'm not really sure. I can't really tell right at the moment. And I am stuck down here. I can't get up there. Well, actually, yes we can. Where... Did I hear a golden bug? No, I didn't hear it. Alright. I want to get close to one of those P-Hats. Oh, the, the name's kind of cool. I like it a lot. P-Hat. Oh, oh. I guess this is happening now. Alright, let's, um... Let's switch back to human form. We're gonna... Oh, ding it, ding it. Get our arrows out real quick. Okay, there we go. We're gonna shoot these guys off if we can. Oh, come on. Yes, there we go. You could actually, um, also climb onto these things. Alright, let's get you out of the way. Oh, I didn't mean to hit him. Alright, come on. Shoot you right in the face. Alright. Now these things, these are basically your opponent of the desert since we can't get opponent here. And, and we're gonna ignore that place for now. Instead we're gonna ride off into the sunset with our beloved boar thing. You could only charge once with him so yeah be careful about that. But we're gonna charge into this gate which are gonna be helpful for us later. And actually I think Okay, there we go. Yeah, it takes us a while for him to uh, actually get back on his feet. But we're going to take a little detour and go over there where that big... Okay, you know what? Oh, forget it. You can get eaten by the sand fish or whatever they call them. And, ooh, it's turning dawn. Nice. I like it when it's dawn. That means the pose will come out. Because there are a lot of pose in this area. I want to get at least some of them while we're going on, and I just realized we are almost out of health. 
All right, we are gonna grab onto that P hat real quick. I'm gonna see if I have anything. Actually, I do have a, I do have a fairy, so we're gonna use that real quick, just to get some life back into us. Put our arrows back on, and of course, Link is gonna use that stance because it's a flying. I mean. Would you be kind of scared if you see that? Just curious. Because I'd be kind of freaked out if I saw a flying thing or whatever you want to call it flying around. In other games, actually, the P-Hat is a, is a kind of interesting enemy. In uh, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, they actually have blades that can attack you. And... They're not really that bad. Uh, when I first played the Ocarina of Time, uh, I got real scared of it. Alright, let's um, get you together. Come on. Can I get all of them? Come on. Nice! I didn't need my wolf form for this. And we got our first checkpoint in Gerudo Desert. I think it's... Gerudo Desert only has a few checkpoints that I'm aware of. But anyway, we're gonna climb up here. Oh wait, don't roll into it, Link. Climb up. And this looks familiar. What's this thing? We're gonna warp. And we're gonna take it to Elden Bridge, or Bridge of Elden. And with that, we restored the bridge to Elden. One bridge down, uh, one more to go, I believe. But that other bridge will be have to be restored by other means necessary. All right, now let's we're gonna warp back to Garota Desert, and we're gonna do some Garota Mesa. Oh, sorry, I guess that's the name of the little area in it. But we still got a lot to do in Garota Desert. For the time being, since it's done and we can get some pose out here. Alright. Alright. Sorry about that. Just looking around in my notes. There are two Gorilla Deserts in. Yeah, two Gorilla Deserts in Poe Village. <laughs> but there are two Poes in uh, Gorilla Desert. The southeastern, which is the part we are in at the moment. And I see one of the bugs, cool. And you re might remember that we are almost done with our bug. Our bug collection, the buggy collection. Uh, let's transform into human. And we're gonna get our... Is this a... What is it? Oh, a dayfly. Yeah. Yeah, I know my story with bugs. Um, transform into wolf so we go a bit faster. I really like the wolf form a lot, like, I know i said this multiple times, but it is the best feature of Twilight Princess, in my personal opinion. Like, I'm surprised they never brought this back in later games. It just baffles me. And as you can see, yes, that's our first bow of the day. And there's another one around here somewhere. Yep. First bow. Let's get you. You will make a fine collection. You will make a fine addition to our collection of souls. If I don't, there we go. And with that, we got half of the Poe souls in the game. Nice. And there's a thing here. What is down here? It's not on my notes, so it must be something optional. Oh, jeez, bunch of sculptures. All right, we're gonna leave this place. 
since there's nothing here. Alright, if memory serves me correct, and by memory I mean by notes, our next puzzle should be over there, and the bug should be somewhere, uh, back by the, whatever you want to call it, uh, little village where the goblins were saying that. Oh, Jesus, P hat. Oh, dang, we are far from it. Alright, well, we gotta go the long way. Okay, get you. There we go, nice. And do not let go as soon as you grab it, because he will, uh... Er, I don't know what this thing is. Uh, I don't know if someone made a, a video on the differences of... <laughs> the gender differences of each enemy. <laughs> uh, Alright, any day now. You can fly with your propeller things. I mean, I'd be honestly creeped out if I saw that flying around in my backyard. But hey, this is Zelda. No one's worried about that. Uh, transform into wolf again. And our postal should be up ahead somewhere. Where are we on our map right now? Oh, I don't even have my map on. Oh, nope. Not that. We are still... Okay, that's where we got it. We're just gonna keep on going. Gonna see if we can find it since it's supposed to be to the east. Yes, there it is. Cool. That is the other group. Or why do I keep saying the wrong things? This is the other pole. So in uh, this part of the Nehru, or not? Why? Uh, Gerudo Desert. There we go. Let's grab onto this dead P hat. There's like oh sh. I actually thought that was an enemy for a sec, but it was just the, the, uh, tree. Alright, get you. Again, you will make another fine addition to our collection of Poe Souls. There we go. Don't, you're not gonna hit me this time. And we got our another Poe Soul. Now I do want to see if I can find that bug, just so we'll be done with this part of- actually I think I see it. No, that might have been something else. Oh, I thought I broke down the gate! Do they respawn? Every time you warp? Or is there another one? Cause that'd be kinda dumb, if they did. No, it's only respawn. Alright, well, I'll go look for that bug, alright? See you in a bit. Actually, what am I thinking? We could just warp to uh to this part of the area, and we can't skip it. I just uh, thought about that. <gasps> Lots of warping, but can you blame me? Yeah. Oh shoot! There's another one here. I thought you were somewhere else, buddy. All right. Well, I'm not complaining. Kind of scared me when I heard the deep, 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 deep. I, I honestly thought it was somewhere else. Okay then. And there has to be another one around here somewhere. Um. Oh. I forgot to talk about this. Remember this part for later. Trust me. We will be going over it. But not now, because I don't want to do that right now. It's going to be really, really hard at the moment. It's not terribly hard, but get my picture. Alright, okay, I see the book. Good. We're going to get the female dan day fly, dandy fly, whatever you want to call it. And do not attack me. Kill, kill you. Alright, let's uh... 
Where did it go? Come on. Just... There we go. Nice. That leaves the last... The other... The other partner to the snail. Don't worry, snail. You'll be revived with your wife soon. Or husband. Or whatever. I forgot the gender of that snail that we got. So, yeah. Only one more golden bug. And we are basically good. On that part. And good riddance of these golden bugs because <laughs> I do not want to look around for a little shiny sparkle in the area now where is that okay I think I see it I think that's it uh, yeah we have to get our we're gonna have to get a boar here and these boars can also do other stuff. You could also uh, charge, and it'll destroy the watchtowers these things were guarding. So yeah, pretty neat, if I say so myself. Might as well get them out of the way. Actually, is there anything in here? Anything noteworthy? Might as well check. Okay, come on. Oh, we can't slow them down unless we go in here. Uh, might as well grab the chest while that thing is recharging. We got a red rupee, cool. Alright, boar. I hope I'm not boring you, get it? <laughs> no, I'll stop. Alright, um, let's actually go over here before going onward because I'm pretty sure there's another pulso around here besides that one which was up there uh, no there is it okay whoa this actually looks pretty neat the way the camera set up <laughs> all right let's just go in here oh come on there we go and might as well get hit and there's... Okay, we're getting a lot of stuff done today. Um, the pulse over there. Oh! I didn't know that the thing could reach over there quick. Looks like there's not a pulse over here, but it looks like it's becoming dawn, so I want to get that pulse over real quick. Uh, let me switch into Wolf Link real quick. And... Uh, come on, let me get that thing real quick. Do not interrupt me, Golden Wolf. All right, come on. I do not want to wait till later. Come on. Attack. Oh, there are also mini P hats or whatever you want to call them. No. There we go. Come on. There we go. Nice. That makes four. All right, good. And all right. It's daylight, so I think we're not be able to get anything else. But we'll get this golden, our new move before we end things off. Oh nope, I didn't. I didn't mean to go there. But yeah, uh, we'll do this next episode. Right now, I just want to get my new move, and we'll be done. All right. Actually, what do we, what does he say? With sword in hand, returns to me. All right. Switch into our human form, and let's get ourselves another move. <laughs> we meet again. At last, the skills I teach you. See. Uh, but, uh, yes, I want to learn a new skill. And we have to show him the helm splitter again, so, shield attack and what a bing! Oh, gotta do one more. Actually, I know I think about it, we barely use these moves. But, we'll be able to use them later. And this is a fifth hidden skill, the Mortal Draw. Sounds pretty cool, Mortal Draw. The ways are so... Max slices. Okay. 
Oh, okay, this one. There's no defense for this. Now try it. We're gonna wait till he attacks. Oh wait, actually. We're gonna put our way a thing. Wait. Oh, okay. Alright. There we go. You cannot Z ZL target during this. And there we go. Got a new weapon or new skill to our arsenal. There are only two skin and hills left. And we do not n neglect our training. And that's about it. That's all I wanted to show off so far. But I think we're done for this episode, alright? Uh, we got a good chunk of the postals here in Grill Desert. We got the l second to last two golden bugs. And uh, we restored the Bridge of Elden, alright? Next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, we're going to be going around getting the last few postals here. And we're going to go forward, alright? See you guys then.